What's up, guys? It's Bye 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 here, and welcome to another Rise of Kingdoms video. Uh, today, I will tell you guys what are the best five infantry markets set up. For open field right now, this setup includes all of the latest commanders that are available in the game. Uh, I thought I had made a video about this already after my uh, last KBK, but apparently I did not. So, I will give you guys two setups. Uh, you can choose which you want to use, depend on the uh, situation. Uh, let's go in. Uh, let's go into expedition here and uh, set up um, for setup number one. Uh, Charm Mattel and Wasi, um, one of my favorite pairing here. Like good, uh, very sustainable, uh, very nice amount of AOE skill damage there, and mobility is very nice. Um, like we have the sustainability from Charm Mattel shield, can absorb up to two hundred damage. Uh. Sean Mattel also has that defense time tree that can help him heal back up some of his uh, severe, uh, slightly wounded. Uh, Sean Mattel expertise also provides that 20% uh, march speed on the field, which can help quite a lot when it comes to like open field combat because you are a little bit more mobilized. Uh, you can hit on the target more often. You can keep that contact on the target if they try to run away. Um, so very, very nice pairing, very, very uh, sustainable, very nice amount of AOE skill damages. Um, just one of my favorite uh, pairing. So that is uh, March number one. Uh, number two we have is uh, Guan Yu and Leo. Uh, these two commanders are made to be together. Uh, Guan Yu have a very, very high AOE skill damage as well as AOE silence. Um, with uh, Leo, uh, the synergy is there. Like Leo, uh, active skill work very very well after Grand Yu active skill because after Grand Yu active his skill, uh, all of the target got hit will get silent, and Leo, AOE skill damage can get that extra fifty percent damage boots. Uh, Leo also has that a uh, rage engine which can uh, increase the speed of rage gain by fifteen percent, which means that. Grand Yu is gonna cast his active skill a lot more frequently, like not a lot more frequently, like 10 to 15 percent more faster. Um, it also means that like he can deal more AOE skill damage, but the most important of all is that his silent debuff. So instead of he debuffing like silent the enemy marches um once every 10 seconds, uh with uh Leo 15% rage gain, now he's going to be able to debuff and silence the enemy. Uh, the enemy marches once every eight or even seven seconds, so you can get the enemy silenced for much like more frequently, and they wouldn't be able to cast a lot of skill. So like these two commanders work very very well together. Um, like one of my favorite pairing as well. Um, so that is second march. Uh, for the third march we have uh, Alex and Sun Tzu. Uh, Alex, one of like my favorite uh, infantry commander as well. Very, very nice, a uh, very sustain like su sustainable. Like he has a uh, tornado shield as well, can absorb a lot of damage. Uh, he doesn't have a defense time tree, uh, so he doesn't come up. He doesn't have any kind of a like, healing, but like the tornado uh, shield can help quite a lot on the open field. Um, he also have a very, very high stat boots there. Like could have very, very high defense boots as well. Um. Uh, pairing uh, Alex with Sun Tzu as second commander, uh, we have a Sun Tzu, one of the best uh, infantry epic commanders. Uh, Sun Tzu have a 10% health, a 10% damage reduction, which can provide Alex a little bit more of the like, tank units there. And Sun Tzu active skill damage can deal quite a very, very substantial amount of damage. And Sun Tzu casting his active skill after Alex can get that actual 30% damage increase from Alex expertise. So all of the enemy marches near that got debuffed will get that actual 30% damage. So very, very nice uh, pairing there. Um, Sun Tzu also has that like very, very nice rage engine that like he restore 50 rage for every target that his uh, active skill hits. So that means that Alex can, re can uh, regain a uh, rage a lot faster if there are, if a Sun Tzu active skill can hit multiple targets. It also means that Alex can cast his shield more frequently. 
he can debuff more marches around him as well. So very, very good pairing there. Um, uh, fourth one we have is uh, Constantine and Jonah Uh By far the best support in the game right now. Like Constantine with a, with a support time tree with a very, very nice rage engine. Plus with Jonah of Arc also bring in like an amazing rage engine as well. Like after Jonah of Arc active, so the active skill, you're going to gain that tuned rage so that you can cast your support skill much, much faster. So you can keep like a very, very um, consistent amount of like buff on the battlefield with uh, uh, Constantine and Jonah of Arc. Like by far one of my best support marches in the game right now. Uh, I love bringing the marches on the open field all the time. This, this can't go wrong with this march here. Like you need a support march to provide that crazy buff for all of your other marches and your allies as well. So one of the best support march in the game right now, we have Constantine and Jonah Berg. Uh And fifth march, we have like um, kind of a mixed marches here, uh, Richard and uh, Ethel Flat. Um, you want to run mostly infantry and then uh, and you want to put in some like archer and some cavalry there so that you can benefit from uh air to flat uh 20 percent damage increase when you run uh three two three different troop type uh richer work also work very very well with air to flat as well because richer active skill also has that slow debuff so when Richard casting his active skill, he got debuff the enemy and the enemy march will get slow for two seconds. And if you check out Ethel Flat active skill, uh, she deal extra 20% damage to enemies that have been slow. There are no other infantry commanders that have a slow debuff and Richard is the only one. So Richard is probably a very good choice to pair with Ethel Flat. Um, which also have a lot of damage reduction as well, which can work very, very well with mixed troop because a uh, mixed troop tie doesn't really care uh, about, like he doesn't have any things that like specific to either infantry or cavalry or archer. So 20% damage reduction got work for any any troop tie. Um, the only downside is that like when you pair Witcher with Airtel Flat, you cannot utilize one of uh, Witcher uh, talent skill, which is, um, uh, holds a light. Uh, one of very very strong skill for infantry can help you tank quite well on the battlefield. So with this setup, um, the downside with this setup is that um, two of your marches going to get target a lot, which is Constantine and Granu. So two of your marches going to get target a lot, uh, and uh, Richard and Ethelflaed can really like they they like Richard and Ethelflaed they can tank, but they can they cannot tank very, very well. Um, so that is a downside. Uh, with this setup, I would recommend you to use this setup when um, you on like the battlefield and your, your alliance, your kingdom have a kind of like a similar amount of marches compared to the enemy, or you want to use it setup when your kingdom have a, a lot more marches than the enemy. Uh, because it setup is not like really utilized uh, not really optimized for like, tanking. Uh, as you can see right here, like Witcher and Witcher and uh, Ethel Flat, not a very very good tank there. Uh, Constantine and Rand, you go going to get target a lot. So when you have a more like when you like outnumber the enemy, or when you at least have like, a, an even number comparing to the enemy, uh, your chance of getting target will be less. So th that is that is when you kind of like want to use it much. Uh, this setup here. Uh, very very good synergy just uh a little a little like i would say a little squishy for like infantry um so this is the setup you want to use when your side is kind of like winning i would say uh you like pushing on the enemy you have more players so this would be the setup that i recommend you to use um for the second setup uh the second the second setup is um a little bit more tanky um so let's see here. So first one we have is uh, Leo and uh, Sanzu. Uh, Leo with his defense time tree um, can be very can be quite sustainable on the open field. Uh, Leo also have active skill damage, which can work pretty well with Sanzu because Sanzu also have active skill damage. Plus, uh, Sanzu uh, 
force skill that increase active skill damage by 20%. So both commander are going to get benefit from that 20% skill damage increaser. And like with Sun Tzu, uh, damage reduction and 20% health, 10% uh, health and 10% damage reduction. Like Leo and Sun Tzu can do a very, very decent, uh, decent job at like tanking. Um, so that is the first march we have. Uh, the second march we have is Witcher and Joan of Arc. Uh, we want to we want to like high Joan of Arc, be high Witcher. Uh, don't underestimate uh, Witcher and Joan of Arc. But Joan, Witcher and Joan of Arc can tank pretty well if you you never try it. Um, decent like Witcher debuffing debuffing here with Joan of Arc um, with her like, rage engine. Uh, your Witcher can. Um, cast hit debuff a lot more frequently and you can reduce the enemy like, attack damages. You can also heal more frequently as well so that you can bring back all of those severe wounded uh, marches. So it can be very, very nice tank. Plus providing the support for your allies as well because you have Joan of Arc as second commanders. And when you hide Joan of Arc at the high reacher, she doesn't get target. So that is the second march there. And third march we have is uh, Alex and Constantine. Um, you can do either one like Alex and Constantine or Constantine Alex. I, I prefer using Alex Constantine. Uh, I gave up on that like support tree a little bit, uh, but in exchange, um, I don't get target a lot. Um, com like comparing like Alex and Constantine on the open field, most of the time people are going to like take down Constantine first. So that is why I want to hide my Constantine behind Alex. Um, Alex also has her, Alex's first skill also provide a shield. And uh, if you look at uh, Constantine's uh, fourth skill, like when he like when the march went below 50%, he's going to heal back a certain amount of troops. And also after that, anytime you gain a shield, you're going to get that a skill damage reduction by 40% whenever you get a shield. So if you go for whatever reason, your market went down to 40, uh, went below 50%, Constantine activate his fourth skill. And after that, whenever Alex casting his shield, you're going to have that 40%, actual 40% uh, skill damage reduction, which can help you tank pretty well on the open field or just like, reduce all of the incoming AOE skill damage on the open field. Uh, two infantry commander, very, very decent pairing here. Not extremely optimized for anything, but like you, the survivability of this pair is higher. So that is uh, the third uh, pairing there. Uh, for the fourth pairing, again, like one of my favorite pairing here, the OG pairing, Trauma Tao and YSG. By far one of the best for infantry for like dealing damages and can and can maintain a very very high amount of troops on the open field most of the time. Like two years, almost two years now, and this is still by far one of my favorite pairing that I would love to bring in bring to any of the open field combat. Uh, so that is the fourth march there. Uh, fifth March we have is uh, Guan Yu and uh, Julius Caesar. Uh, as I mentioned before, Guan Yu is a very, very strong infantry commander. That is one of the reasons why he gets targeted a lot on the open field because of his first skill, very, very strong first skill. Uh, a lot of AOE skill damage and the three second silent is just very, very nice. Uh, I want to pair Guan Yu with Julius Caesar because uh, Julius Caesar can provide a little bit more like tankiness for these marches here uh, and bring in a little bit more troop capacity as well. Uh, more troop capacity also means that Grand New active skill can deal a lot more damages. Uh, Grand New also work very, very well with Julius Caesar first skill. Uh, Julius Caesar first active skill deal for the damage, but also provide a very, very nice buff for five seconds. Uh, increase troop attack and defense for 20%. You need that 20% uh, troop defense there, can help you tank a little bit more. And also increase all damage by 30%. So after you see the cast hit active skill, after four or five seconds, when you're going to, to cast his active skill, and he's going to, he's going to get that 20% damage boost from you see there. 
I have tested it and it worked. Uh, so you can deal a lot more damage. Uh, Julius Caesar also have the second skill, which provide 10% damage reduction, which is very, very nice. Uh, very much needed for Guan Yu on the open field. He also have another effect there, which um, whenever Z Troop is attack, uh, you get a 10% chance to further reduce your damage taken by 30%. Uh, one of the reason I want to pair Guan Yu with Julius Caesar is also because in case Guan Yu got like in in case Guan Yu get target a lot like at Swarm, uh, with Julius Caesar second skill, he going to take less damages because of that additional 30% uh, damage reduction if your market gets swarmed, this skill will get triggered um, much, much more often. So that is the reason why uh, I want to pair with uh, Grand Yu and Julius Caesar. Um, so this setup is um, a, a little more tanky, like I can do it very, very well in tanking. Uh, we have uh, we have Richard and Jonah Bark is our main tank here. Uh, can tank very well um, and also provide a very, very nice buff for every marches. We have a, a Leo and Sun Tzu, very, very good in tanking as well. Alex and Constantine, decent marches there. Uh, Trauma Tal, YSG, again, another commander with defense, Tan Tree, primary commander. Very nice, very tanky. And uh, we have Grand Yu and Julius Caesar. With this setup, like Grand Yu's might still get like Swarm, uh, but we got US Caesar there with his one of with his second skill, and with a little bit more troop capacity, you can deal a lot more damage to the enemy marches. So this setup is um is like you should use this setup is when kind of like your like your enemy the enemy is outnumber you, uh, uh, and you like on the defense and there are a lot of marches from the enemy. Your chance of getting swarm, your chance of fighting like one versus two, one versus three is much higher. This is when you want to use this setup. Uh, this setup can like provide a very, very, very nice defense, can help you fight on the field a little bit longer compared to the first setup. And overall, it's it's a very, very nice um, setup for like just defense. So yeah, all right. So those are the two setups that I I would. Like I would use depend on the situation. Um, if if like they're like if like we are pushing hard, we are on the offense. I will definitely go with the setup number one. Uh, better synergy with all of the commanders. Just a little little squishy for like that setup. Um, but like if I am on the defense, uh, and there are a lot of like enemy marches, I will definitely go with uh, setup number two. More like tanky commanders. You can also like high your squishy commander be high so that the the enemy are forced to attack some of your like more tanky commanders. So you gotta have a less like severe wounded marches. So those are the two setups that I I have for you guys for like the best uh five marches infantry setup. Uh thanks for watching the video guys.